like the whole reason that like that star forts even exist is specifically because cannons became part of medieval warfare and sieges like the it, you know castles used to be pretty simplistic all things considered like it'd be like you know womp you have a wall you got your little you got your little drawbridge and you actually have the keep inside womp womp but if you have you know like this is like relatively defensible right like it's thick walls, you can have boys up here doing the pew-pews downwards, and the armies are all like, bleh. Arrows, I'm dead. Oh no. But, um, you know, then you introduce catapults and, um, and trebuchets. So you start doing some damage to the walls, but they're still relatively capable of, like, taking some sustained hits. Because, like, trebuchets and catapults were not hyper-accurate. They were relatively accurate, but, you know, they were they were still relatively good, all things considered. But stone walls can take some hits. But when you add a cannon, when you hit a wall straight on with one of those, that ball both is heavier, because it was usually made out of lead or some kind of metal, making it immensely heavier than stone. And it was moving at a faster speed than a catapult or a trebuchet could ever go. And as we know, uh, force equals mass times acceleration. That's right, we're bringing math into this. Not only are you increasing the mass, but you're increasing the acceleration. So you are very... Oh, well, that's not, that's not correct. So you are very much increasing the force behind it, right? So when you hit those walls dead on, because a lot of castles had a lot of straight walls, you would, like, a few shells could potentially take them down because of how much power was behind cannons. So what people started doing, and these were very expensive forts, mind you, but they started building them like this. Now, why is this so important? You may ask. Well... There is such a thing as ricochet, right? So if you're shooting something dead at something, as long as it is moving straight and it is a move and the thing that you're hitting is perfectly perpendicular to what you're actually hitting, you're doing maximum force. Like all the force is hitting this point, right? Which will ripple to which will ripple around it and do more damage and such. But if you're shooting at this angle with the ball, only the a bit of the force is going to go this way, but it is most likely going to bounce. So it will do some damage, but it will be greatly reduced simply due to the fact that there is surface for it to move on. It's also the reason that tanks use a lot of angles in their builds. Like old tanks, you know, used to have fronts that were more along the lines of like this that would be the front of a tank if you took the treads away and now there's also a an extra reason to this which i think is also very fascinating so not only do you have this ricochet effect but technically the wall is thicker because if the wall is this thick let's say no oh no we'll do this we'll do this properly we'll do this properly all right if you're hitting this way, you have to go through this much wall. That much wall. All right? That's how much wall you have to do. But if we rotate and you go this way, now you have to go through this much wall. And I think you can already see it. Hold on. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it just for you guys. Here's a line. Here's the line. That's how much distance. All right. So now we're going to go back to straight. And we're going to compare the two. See? You actually have to go through more wall at an angle. So the wall is actually stronger at an angle. Specifically because by the direction of the force... It's thicker, making it 
safer. So star forts were literally designed under the concept of angles so that cannonballs couldn't do as much damage to the walls. Also, because if you put a cannon... Let's do this one more time. If you put a cannon on the end of this, you know, and you have another one over here, just for simplicity's sake. So if you have cannons here, hitting here is an incredibly difficult thing to hit, right? From the outside perspective. So you would need to be, let's say you're, you're firing here. So you would need to be here to hit here because this would be a better spot to hit in terms of flat. But what's the problem with that is you don't have the same distance, right? Because if you look at this, let's uh, draw another line really quickly just for safety. If this is the distance, let's say this is maximum distance that you can travel with the cannon, all right? So if we take this and we do this, Look how suddenly, how much closer you need to be to the actual fort in order to do damage to it, right? And now suddenly, this cannon can also hit you or can hit the attacking force. They were very expensive to build, but they were very, very smart <laughs> and very dangerous. Like, Google a star fort. And, like, tell me that that's not super expensive. Well, specifically Star Fortress, I believe, is what you're looking for. Star Fortress, medieval. Right, they're also called Bastion Forts. There we go. I know them as Star Forts because of the shape. But if you look up a Bastion Fort... Like, hold on, here's one. This is uh, just an old drawing of one, but we'll put it on here for a second. Look at that thing. Look at this. This is from an outside, per this is from a, 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 a bird's eye view perspective, probably with some interiorness so that you can see. But like, look at this. Yeah, there you go. A small lesson in uh, medieval warfare with Will Sleeps Not. <laughs> Armchair historian.